Here in the nation, due to lack of medical infrastructure, those living in remote islands may find it difficult to get their COVID-19 vaccination. South Korea's Navy came up with a solution, turning one of its ships into an inoculation zone and sailing out to meet the residents. Kim Do-yeon takes us to the scene. In waters of Cheollanamdo province on South Korea's southwest coast, where there are many remote islands, a naval speedboat is dashing through the waves. Waiting at the island are not the other crew members, rather, residents. The Navy is here to pick them up for vaccination. Because vaccination zones can't be set up on remote islands, the health authorities and the Navy have set up a special vaccination ship for the residents. We would have to go to the mainland for vaccination, but the Navy came all the way to vaccinate us, so we don't have to. We're busy with our farm, so I thank them very much. We have many elders here, so I was wondering how I could take them all the way to the mainland for vaccinations, but the Navy came. I'm so happy because this helped us Kasado Island residents get vaccinated conveniently and safely. They will be taken to ROKS Hansando, docked between some of the islands. The residents will have to get on a smaller boat to reach it. They also will have to keep their helmets on for safety, and it's a bit tougher to get inside. And there's even a helicopter ready in case of emergency. The ship is big enough to have more than 400 crew members on board, but inside it looks just like any other of the country's vaccination centers. ROKS Hansando is normally used for naval exercises and has the biggest medical facility on board among all South Korean naval ships. Using this vessel, I'm glad we can help the disabled or those who have limited access to medical facilities. We will work hard to make sure it is a success, so citizens can get back to their normal lives sooner. The vaccination operation will continue until the 30th of June. Johnson & Johnson's vaccine will be provided as it only requires one dose. By the end, more than 600 people over the age of 30 will be vaccinated. As for the inoculation process across the country, more than 11.8 million have received at least a first shot, and nearly 3 million have received a second as well. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.